Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to unroot the Acer liquid and get back to factory spec uh, so you can send it in for warranty or whatever reason. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for our how to unroot the Acer liquid procedure. Okay, first you need to download the Acer liquid drivers. So click on the link here to begin downloading the drivers to your computer. Okay, once you've downloaded the Acer liquid drivers uh, in .zip format, we're going to right click it, extract it, wait for it to extract, and then we're going to open the new Acer liquid folder. Uh, if you have a 64-bit system, click on double click on the 64-bit. If you have 32-bit, double click on the x86. Then to get it started, just double click on the Acer liquid tool setup and follow the prompts to install the drivers. Okay, after you set up the liquid drivers, uh, you need to download the Acer Liquid Original firmware. If you have the European version of the phone, you download the first one. If you have the Asian version, download the second one. Uh, once you've downloaded that, we can continue the next step. Okay, so once you've downloaded the version, you're going to right-click it, extract files, just click OK, and let it extract. And now you should be able to open that folder that just was created by extracting and see the .bin file inside. Okay, next you need to download the Acer flashing tool. Uh, so click on here, download that. Once you download the Acer flashing tool, you can right click it, extract all, extract, and wait for that to extract. Okay, now you can open the folder uh, from the extracted flasher and we are going to right click the Acer download tool and run as administrator and wait for that to boot up and then we're going to take that and we're going to click on the browse and we're going to browse to the .bin file that we downloaded so right here click open and then go to the next step okay next we can make sure the phone is on and then we're going to plug it in via USB and do not mount it, just set it down. Then back on our computer when the Acer flashing tool recognizes the phone it'll say connected in green down here at the bottom and then we can just hit start and wait for that to flash. Okay once it's done it'll say process finished now you can remove USB. Okay once the phone reboots you can unplug the USB and go through your normal setup process and you're back to your original firmware. There you go.